emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is my first build for emodels.co.uk. Uh, conveniently, it's a bike that I won from emodels.co.uk in one of their Monday night uh, prize giveaways. Uh, so, I've built it, and now I'm presenting it to them uh, as my first build for them. Uh, so, uh, this is the first part of the uh, nine parts in this video series. Uh, this is the unboxing. Uh, followed by different parts of the bike being built and painted. Uh, I hope you enjoy this one and uh, come back and watch the others when they come up. I'll leave you to the unboxing. Thank you. Um, right. Uh, yeah. Um, right. This is the unboxing, which you can only see a very, very little bit of the box because my camera won't go any further away than that. So, inside the box we have oh so very much stuff. Uh, right, I'm going to move this out to one side and then show you each bit individually. <coughs> right, let's have a little bit of room. Uh, right. Now, as you may or may or not have noticed, let me get the instruction manual. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. There we go, right. I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is the Tamiya Honda CRF 1000L Africa Twin. It's a one sixth scale. So a little bit bigger than what I've been doing so far. Uh, it's a big kit. It's really quite daunting. Um, the engine assembly itself is just lots. And then you've got the framework and the detail on some of these drawings is just astounding. Uh, spokes for the wheels it's it's one hell of a kit chain apparently there is an aftermarket kit which has a metal chain in it but I won't be doing that it's scary enough as it is without having to worry about individual lengths of a chain uh, yeah now this series I have no idea how long it's going to take me um, some of it will be quite easy to break down into you know the the engine assembly and then the front forks or whatever or putting the wheels together and some of it won't so don't expect nicely labeled part numbers and you know in this part I'll be doing this because it's not going to happen I'm pretty much just going to start building it and then when the time comes to I've done enough I'll release that as an episode and then go from there uh, yeah, so it's it's one hell of a kit. So let's see what we've got in the box. Uh, initially, we have uh, just a tray that goes over the top. Right, the first thing that gives a real idea as to the scale is the size of the wheels. They're big. Um, obviously, in there as well, we have some shiny stickers. Little foam pad, no idea. Uh, probably the indicators and brake light section, and some pipes that will be some sort of hosing or electrical something. So we've got those. We have the aforementioned spokes. Now, the only part on these that are actually the spokes are the inside pieces. This is just packing. Uh, so we've got four of those obviously there's only two wheels but they go together to make the spoke pattern inside it that's those uh, we have some metal parts springs and screws 
it's the first model kit like this that I've had that has to be screwed together so that's going to be interesting oh that's a screwdriver right now we've got I have no idea what probably the forks or part, parts of the engine I have absolutely no clue um, motorbikes aren't my thing they never were they I've, um, this is actually a kit that I won so uh, it's not one that I would go out of my way and buy but I will enjoy it I've been told to enjoy it so I'll make sure I enjoy it um, right another sprue I don't know if I can get rid of the reflections there probably not uh, right yeah I would go through all the parts but I don't know what any of them are and say not knowing about motorbikes that's obviously the main body part by the look of it or something I don't know which bits are which yeah there's some more parts some sort of mudguard or something more parts that's probably the front headlights maybe don't know I'm sure it will all become clear when I start doing it uh, some white parts which obviously the bodywork, the fairing, panels uh, clear parts, going to be the windscreen interior bits of headlights no idea what that is uh, grey silvery parts for the engine no doubt lots of detail on these Uh, more black parts uh, yeah there's definitely some parts there and more grey parts are that's an exhaust pipe I know that one I know that bit yep uh, some sort of framework probably the frame that the engine sits in probably a seat again that gives you the indication as to the size More bits of frame. God, the parts are just never ending. Uh, the, that must be a stand. It's going to be a stand that you can make up to stand it on, funny enough. Uh, chain, there we go. The chain and the disc brakes for the wheels. And more tiny little parts. I say tiny little parts. Quite big, really, considering heads of what I normally build. Alright, uh, we have rims. Again, four, so obviously two need to snap together to each other. I think this is some sort of rim fitting tool that you put things in and then push it together to make it all together. Uh, shiny, shiny, shiny chrome. Very shiny. Now, I'm hoping and praying that I'm not going to have to re-chrome this. The chrome itself looks lovely. It's very, very reflective. You can see reflections in the... I think they're the wing mirrors. But even through the plastic bag, they're reflecting really nicely. Now, they do seem to be undergated, so there won't be any nub marks on the visible parts. So I'm really hoping that I don't have to re-chrome these, because I would never be able to do that to any and these have got little ridges around them and everything they're just very very nice all uh, right we also have some more paperwork what have we got important information read carefully and understand uh, that might be a problem not for children under 36 months okay uh, decals africa twin think there's oh, right. masking stickers as well for some of it so if you want to paint it you can stick these over and use that as for masking uh, right what's this part list yeah that seems to be a screw call out part list probably get a wrench and an allen key in there as well i didn't notice those but little springs oh. 
little springs, big springs, lots of screws and bolts and yeah. This is even more scary than I thought it was going to be. Uh, right, what's this? Glossy paper. Ah, right, reference pictures. That's nice of them. I assume these are actually the the real thing, or CAD drawings of the real thing by the looks of these. And these seem to be pictures of the real bike. That's very nice of them to give you detailed pictures. Uh, right, well, that's that. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit scared. It's quite a big kit. It's a I mean, big scale as well as being lots and lots of bits. Well, no time like the present. I'll, I'll be getting on with this and uh, no doubt putting the first video up of me breaking something or not knowing where a bit goes or what bit's called. Uh, by the look of the instruction manual, it seems to be the first part. Where did I put the instruction manual? See, I've lost bits already. I'm really useless at this. There it is. Right. Um, the first part was the engine, I'm pretty sure. The crankcase one down here. So, uh, that's where we're going to start. Now, it says something about using different types of paints. Obviously, they're all going to be talking about Tamiya paints. Painting is, yeah, it says all required. Lots of different. Yeah, I don't have any of these TS. I don't know what they are. They must be the enamel paints. I do have lots of the Tamiya X and XF paints already. I'm going to have to have a read through before I do anything at all and figure out exactly what I'm going to do because they do talk about painting from the off. I'm going to be pretty much following the instructions here. A page at a time, a little bit of a picture at a time. I'm trying to translate bits, they have got lots four different languages by the looks of each bit, each section. So I put that on. Assume that means paint TS17 and TS17 and X11. So it's talking about TS17 gloss aluminium. There we go. And X11 is chrome silver. Yeah, right. I'm going to go away and read up on all of this. I hope you'll join me on this journey that uh, should end up with a decent sized kit, but might end up with a big pile of bits. Uh, right, have fun. Um, come back soon. I don't know how soon, but I'm sure there'll be something to show you at some point soon. Uh, yep, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. See you soon.